we come bearing some good news for all. Over the past few months, a process has been in hand which is to lead us to discovering how best we can deliver your blessings to you. After the end of World War II, the Dark Cabal resumed its unrestricted deliveries of monies around this globe. This system was greatly altered by the United States over the last decade. Barriers were put into place whereby the U.S. Treasury and Homeland Security controlled the flow of all monetary exchanges. It was then necessary to develop a way to pass large sums of currencies through this system until a newer transfer system was operational. We are now using our influence internationally to successfully implement our first test run. This is to mark the start of a process that is intended to provide the temporary stopgap needed. Hence, we expect some astounding news to become known as these humanitarian funds make their way to the first recipients. This is to be the start of a domino effect, which is to permit another great batch of funds to be sent to North America and those who have long waited for their blessings. This process is being aided by the rise of new developmental and investment banks that promise eventually to supersede the IMF and this onerous SWIFT system. This set of developments is expected shortly to lead to the rise of new governance in North America and around this globe. This process is as well to lead to a global change that is to bring you a currency backed by precious metals and the rise of peace and worldwide prosperity. This is to be joined by a global debt jubilee. In effect, the present debt slavery system is to end at last, and to be replaced by a new reserve of currency that is fairly valued. This is one of many steps that are to permit your world to embrace freedom and the end of a decades-long UFO cover-up. This process is as well to allow you to obtain some valuable information by your ascended masters, and allow the disclosure of your inner earth cousins. This can then permit us to begin the last part of a complex operation, which has taken us over two decades to complete. When we arrived in the early 1990s, we first thought this mission was to take about one decade to complete. The Anunnaki assured us that their former minions were able to see that heaven had an initial time of early September 2001 as the moment for a very complex shift in governance to commence along with the start of a global prosperity. This process went askew when the de facto U.S. government counter-attacked. This changed our timetable and caused a whole set of new decrees to be issued. These heinous rogues had proved entirely unreliable and were dedicated to using their remaining powers to delay both Nasara and the redistribution of the world's wealth. We set up secondary scenarios and began to ask our allies how much their plans still included the Cabal. The attrition cycle for these scalawags was put into action. We were at the mercy of these allies and what heaven was to decree regarding our first contact mission. It has taken over a decade to get to this present position. The dark cabal painted itself into a corner. The end for these vile rogues is at hand. You are now at the edge of the time when a number of things are to happen. Our earthly allies are finishing projects that are to make the RV and the GCR a done deal. In addition, when the first set of funding tests are complete, the prosperity packets and the fine and penalty monies are to be released. This is to lead to new governance and the return to true de jure governance as well as the end to illegal income taxes. It is as well to signal the formal outlawing of debt slavery and within some months, the end to the entire monetary system. Surface humanity is destined to end its dependence on farming and manufacturing. In the very near future, Gaia is to be allowed again to become the child of the universe, which it was when your ancestors landed here nearly 900,000 years ago. You were fully conscious when the Atlanteans treacherously destroyed the continent of Lemuria. This happened at the start of the Great Galactic Year that had just been completed. In this new Great Galactic Year, you are to return to full consciousness and then achieve your destiny with Heaven's full and gracious blessings. Namaste. We are your Ascended Masters. We arrive in joy. The dark, which has for so long run this realm, is fading. Everywhere, those who represent them, are scrambling. The age of fiat money is being ended by the return of a global gold standard. This operation is allowing us to start planning when we can begin a number of important lessons on religions and morals. 
This realm badly needs to understand the common base of religion and how best to heal wounds from supposed differences that have caused chaos to rule. We all need to concentrate on the power of love and the need to heal our supposed hatreds. The time for war is over. This is a time for peace and unity. When you pass through the ceremony that makes you an ascended master, you learn how you need time to perceive some universal truths. We call this a kind of boot camp, where we are taught about the foundations for love and light in this world. These teachings serve us well as we carry out our divine services. The way by which you are inculcated into this realm needs to be washed away and a new set of common values emphasized. The lessons that we intend to teach are to mirror this. However, more is to be explained as well. Humanity possesses a great inner love for each other. It is traditions and experienced events that change you. We realize this as we move from culture to culture. Many of you are taught to receive us in a certain way. Others are likewise entirely unfamiliar with us. We are in divine service and use your beliefs to provide examples that move you toward love and a more positive view of life. This time is hard on you as there is a great transition underway. Our service is to provide hope and a way to turn your life toward love. This is how you can better know your fellow humanity. Life is about moving toward the light and helping the dark to fade from this world. Our efforts are based upon the great shift in consciousness that is moving across this globe. This shift permits you to view this world in a different light. The past two decades have seen events, which promise to aid in bringing the divine plan to this world. The dark has watched with great distress as their heinous plans are quickly disappearing. The time approaches for a more sane set of interventions. These are to allow you to experience your oneness. Your increased focus and ability to envision a better world are making this transition occur faster and with a lesser degree of inner confusion. This event is most welcomed by heaven and by us. Our task is to guide you to a better knowing of this conscious path, which you are traveling upon. The moment now approaches for a great unveiling. This is to reunite you with your spiritual and space families. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Today, we continue to inform you about what is happening to you globally. An age of prosperity and harmony is forming. This time is hence one of transition. Be patient and ever ready to help this new set of realities to triumph and set the stage for a new spiritual age. You are to meet the founders of your inner beliefs and learn much, which can bring peace to your soul. No, dear ones, that the countless supply and never-ending prosperity of heaven are indeed yours. So be it.